What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Total Warhammer. My name is Splattercat, happy to have you here today as we hang out and assassinate this guy. Critical success, yay, we killed one of them, hooray. I should give him a level up, nice. Just gotta keep him stabbing and destroying and generally just causing problems for my enemies. That is what we are all about, so propagandist is good, we'll go ahead and have that lower some of the chaos corruption in the zones that he's operating in. In the previous episode, I had played a really bad battle, actually. I don't know what happened if I just wasn't into it or... I'm not sure what happened right there, but I played badly. I played badly and I paid for it. So... I think it was a misuse of cavalry at the beginning that I just never recovered from. I think that's pretty much how it went down. It's the end of our turn, so... Oh, Snide Ornhead got himself... What is he doing? Well, I know his fightiness is low, but we're working on it right now. Fortunately, the fightiness meter seems to give out on you very, very frequently, right when you need it not to. And you take such a major hit for a loss, too. That's the other part. Is like victories give you a lot, but losses also give you a lot of... or make you lose a lot of fightiness. It's something you constantly gotta watch when you're playing as Du Bois. Alright, so the Teef Snatches. Was that actually a fight right there? Where did he go? I think he set up an ambush alongside us too. Pretty sure. Kislev has been destroyed? Oh my god, that's not good. But yeah, there he is right there trying to ambush us. We'll go ahead and put him into Raiden camp mode too. So that we got lots and lots of damage taking place. And then we can actually recruit globally if we really want to. I could pick up a couple more units to kind of isolate the loss there, but... Actually, I'm much more interested in pushing west with this group as hard as I can. There we go. We'll push them off that way, and then with this many armies in the area, I see no way that we're... This army right here is weirdly good. Like, he's got so many archers, it's concerningly good. I was like, well, damn, son, we're getting peppered with arrows right now. It's an ugly day for us. I suppose I could tell the wall to just go fight with him, but... Oh, he's got a skill point. Okay, so we'll give him an intimidating presence so that he's got that extra leadership bonus. Yes, I'm well aware that his fightiness is low. We have him actively in a raiding camp, which means it shouldn't be a problem for too much longer. Our wog is having trouble keeping up. I'm also going to use this time. We made peace with the dwarves a couple episodes ago. I'm going to be assassinating as many of their agents as I can in between there to try and level my guy up to like level 24, 25. So that I can finally take out that mega agent they have. They've got that agent who's like the James Bond of dwarfery. It's just like utterly out of his mind good. This could be kind of a bad day for us. I can only put that banner on a black orc unit. He's a black orc, technically. Grimgord Ironhide, I think, is. <sighs> Alright, so I had to reload this one because I misclicked and put my guys in the wrong spot where I didn't want them to be. And then started the battle because I was trying to move quickly. So anyways... Uh, the good thing is, apparently the Vampire Lord sued for peace, which is kind of interesting, I guess. I wasn't really expecting that one. We have enemies coming in from goddamn everywhere. So we need to set up... The catapults are actually in decent positions to do damage, though. So we'll put them right there. Hopefully they'll get something done. With these gits right here, we'll kind of line them up right there. Boar Riders are kind of in rough shape, but I'll do what I can with them. I mean, this is going to be... We've got a weird valley in front of us right now, which is going to cause us to be kind of a straight scrum. So, eh. Sometimes that's the way life goes out here. So, with our secondary army, as soon as they get on the field, we want them out in the front nice and fresh. Let's have them move over to there. Enemy reinforcements appear to be coming from that direction as well. Which has me a tad nervous they're going to come up over the hill and mess with me like that. Let's send some riders to the top of the hill. Just in the off chance that we need to scout that real quick. Alright, 
All right, so you guys line up right there. You guys kind of line up right there. You guys kind of line up right there. Can line up along that side with this army. It doesn't look like I've messed with any of my Arab boys. So we'll line them up over there. Yeah, looks like they're gathering up over there, which is all right by me. They can do whatever they want to do. Let's keep them moving slowly. We'll have some cavalry along this side. And once we've got everything amassed, we'll figure out how we want to fight this thing. Definitely keep the Lord in the back, because we can't be messing around with that kind of shit right now. Come on, everybody. Get in line. We do have an okay army, but are they going to move at us once we're in position here? I would rather let them come to me since they appear to have superior numbers and all that kind of fun stuff. We do have elite units with us. We, well, our elite units are a little busted up. No lie, they're kind of in bad shape, but... It looks like they're actually going to turtle up on us, I think. Are they? Maybe they won't. I don't know. Firing range over here. Actually, they're going to come at us. Okay. That's fine with me. I'm not that upset about it. Damn, that's a big army. Alright, you guys move over to this flank right here. Let's stop fast-forwarding things. And decide what we want to hit with rocks first. Because they are just flooding in this way. You guys fall back over to here so that we have archers that can fire back when their archers decide to get rowdy. They don't have rock throwers or anything like that, so we should be good. You guys fire at them. Drag them back this way. And let's do some fighty things, shall we? So it looks like they've got... Well, I mean, they've got things definitely coming after us. You guys get in here. You guys fire at them. We're going to hold for a minute until that's done. You guys go fight with the spearmen. My goal now would be to ride you guys out to there. We need archers with a mast fire somewhere out here. You know what? That sounds good to me. You guys. Keep bombarding the back lines. I want them to hurt. And if you can wipe out their morale for a little bit with some of these archers, that would be acceptable too. You guys, go ahead and charge that flank. Grimgore, I would love to see you go after the spearmen so that they don't regroup along that side. We are really, really outnumbered right now, which is concerning. Where are you guys going? Did I accidentally grab you? I must have accidentally grabbed them. Let's 
Alright, everybody in over there. Their morale should break in just a moment. Oh, never mind. You guys are fine. Do what you're doing down there. Do your thing. Uh, boar riders. Already a tiny bit depleted. Which I'm not really okay with. You guys fire right there. And as soon as they shake this line right here, my next suggestion would be God, we got problems. Go ahead and put them right there. We're going to have to start charging in here in a minute. We're going to have them come up and around the back and try to take out some of these archers and cause some problems for our enemies. We've already got routes. We've already got lots and lots of things going wrong. But my hope is that we can fix them. These boar riders over here are losing somehow, which really kind of blows my mind, because these aren't spearmen. These are just normal orc boys. And for whatever reason, even though they're being attacked from behind and they're being pinched, we're still losing on this side, which has me all kinds of confused. I don't know. So instead, I'm going to have them ride down some of these archers. They're going to break in just a moment. Slow things back down for a couple minutes while they chew on these archers right here. That means these archers are going to be targetless, so they should fire over to this side. As soon as they route on that side, we will start considering... No, you stay out of it. You have no place in this fight right now. You guys start firing right there. These boys should re-collapse over here. Are you guys actually fighting anything right now? Okay, so they won that battle in the midfield. Where is Grimgor at? Grimgor is still fighting with like 100,000 people over here. So you guys all reroute and fight with them. These archers should start firing rounds at them to make our lives a tad easier. You guys keep chewing on archers on that side. You guys keep doing similarly. And then charge over this way. I mean, I suppose I could do this. It's a bad idea, but they've got spearmen in there, which is why it's a bad idea. But that would help alleviate a little bit of the pressure along this flank and allow them to redirect fire over to there. Sorry, when things get overwhelming, I just play in slow-mo because I have the tendency to miss things. There we go. So we've got a route on this side now. And that was pretty much the best charge we could have hoped for right there. So that was pretty good. We can't really do much about the spearmen on that side. We're going to wait for them to break. The spearmen are broken. The archers are broken. Over this way. How are these guys doing? we got spearmen on us. So let's go ahead and extract ourselves from the combat. They're fighting over there. Grimgore is doing his thing on that side. We're managing to cause all kinds of damage over there. They're throwing rocks at them. Since they're already routed, start doing a little bit of damage over there and start scaring them off a bit. We've got arrows going to this flank over here, which is good. Boar riders are sustaining some casualties. Basically, I just need to wait for that to route right there, and then we'll take these boar riders. And once that ticks off, and once that ticks off, 
Oh shit. Okay, so we got Spearman coming back in. So now would be the time to abandon that unit. We'll charge straight through. And then the goal is going to be to take out some of these archers up here. We are doing okay right now, but we're not doing the best we could possibly be doing. They're basically routed. What's going on over here? They're getting ready to rout. These guys over here are making friends with spearmen, as usual, which I'm not okay with. I'd like them to come back down around this way. Actually, just get them on the way past. That's fine. Yep, looks good to me. You guys, in the meantime, get back down here. Grimgor is done with his nasty tide of violence. My melee units are kind of shook up right now. Are you guys doing anything at the moment? Well, then you guys should definitely go that way and help out before that folds. Because it's going to fold in just a minute. These archers down here are still doing their thing. We have a completely and totally fresh group of spearmen over there. You go fight with them. So we got a surprise route on that side. However, they should fold over here in just a minute. They're about to get hit by like five rocks, which is always entertaining. So there you go. Guys getting hit by five rocks. Apparently they managed to jump our melee line right there. Except for the boar riders. You guys come back this way. Whoever else is over there. Let Grimgore handle some of these spearmen. These cats are over here doing jack shit and nothing. Just so many archers in this group. And put some fire on them too, because it looks like they're gonna come back around. Apparently, I had a hidden army, which I wasn't even aware of. Oh, and they're in combat right now. It's just so many archers. It's like, what do you even do against them when they're all in skirmish mode? Like every single one of their archers is just retreating nonstop and then firing one round backwards while running. It's we have cavalry, but it's like at a certain point, you don't have enough cavalry to deal with hundreds of stacks of archers that are all better than you, you know? I probably should have just auto-resolved this one so that they didn't get their kite bonus and everything else. Got spearmen right there. That's okay. You guys need to be on them like yesterday. Uh, if the boar boys can get out of combat, have them rush back that way, and it might turn out all right. Right here, we got pinched by units that regained their morale and recharged, which is shitty but what are you gonna do they've routed so we can turn back this way and start firing over there to get rid of the spearman that's basically hitting them in the back Grimgor should be able to hold down his side no problem where is he at and what is he doing um He might be helpful in there, but he's probably just going to get himself killed, in all honesty. Uh, 
Ugh, you guys back over here except for you. Don't do that. Go after them. God. So much chaos right now. I mean, not literal, like, chaos faction, but you get what I mean. Yeah, keep slinging rocks. Actually, throw rocks at that back flank right there. There you go. Go get them, boys. Go get them. A little bit more morale lost right there. My lord can be under attack, although he's going to go down. Oh, he went down really fast. Their lord's going down, though, too. Not even kind of sure what's going on anymore. It's like the battle lines are so far all over the place that... Yeah, I should have left him in the backfield. That was a mistake. I shouldn't have done that. Please don't get routed by spearmen, the weakest infantry in the entire game. Why are you guys... Oh, Jesus Christ, bro. What a mess. What an absolute mess. This is like a horrible nightmare right now. There we go. So we have an enemy lord who is now wounded. At least we got rid of somebody. Oh, we won it, really? God, that's going to be Pyrrhic as hell. Oh, it was a close victory. Okay. Pretty even fight, all things considered. I mean, we did better than they did, or, well, no. They lost 2,000, we lost 1,300, so yeah. We were killing two for one right there, we did the best that we could, but... At the end of the day... Take the replenishment over here. Next time I'll probably auto-resolve against that archer army, though, because it's just annoying to fight. Yeah, whatever. The omens are ill. You have pissed off the gods. We will lose obedience. Eh, whatever. We've got the money to cover it. It'll be all right. I would suggest that we at least run down one of these guys. And there we go. At least we killed off one of them, although we didn't reinforce like I thought we would. We're going to replenish, and there goes their big bad lord, so he's now out of the way. This is also serving a function of getting Grimgore leveled up, too, because he's really, really, really good once you level him up a bit. He is not a bad character at all. I'd like you to be a little closer to this army right here. He's going to try and regain what he's got going on over there, but I'm going to bring the wog back out. And we'll flatten him on the next turn, basically. Hopefully. His fightiness is kind of ugly at the moment. Definitely going to have to put him in a rating stance or something. But that's the end of the episode. We're out of time for right now. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here 
I will see you all in the next episode of Total Warhammer. This has been just a nightmare batch of episodes, I'll tell you that much. We have not been doing well. We're holding stuff, but we're not holding it real well. We should probably fight for this stuff right here so we don't have that little rogue cell in the middle of our territory. And then we'll start trying to clean all this up. I thought we were going to do better. I thought we were going to do better, but I'm bad at the game, so it is what it is. I'll see you all next time. Bye, everybody.